Welcome. This is my first tutorial focused on the basics of TurboCAD. If you are interested, you can visit Brainline Learning World for online education. This version of TurboCAD has been provided to me by TurboCAD Africa. When you open or start TurboCAD, this page should appear. If the window in the middle does not appear, all that you need to do is go to File, New, or to click on this little page at the top left hand side of your screen. Then this window will appear. From here we have the option for starting from scratch, or to start from a template, or as we will do, to create a page setup and that using the wizard. So what we will do is click on the page setup wizard and we will select the metric that will allow us to draw in millimeters and we can then move on to the next screen after clicking next and here we will click on the decimal if it's not selected already we will use millimeters obviously and then the decimal precision we will change to two after clicking next we will have this window and we will select the one that says uh, ISO A3 and that is the paper size with which we will draw because from grade 10 to 12 we only draw on A3 papers and for printing out later on these drawings of ours onto PDF or onto paper we obviously would like to draw on an A3 size paper so that we have our drawings all ready to write paper size selected. You can also choose if you have A3 printer to let TurboCAD select the default printer settings for you but we don't have an A3 printer so we're going to select the A3 uh, setup and then we will put it on PDF in the end of the day and then we'll print it out as an A3 page. Good, next we will click here and we will then move on to the next window um, where we will then type in the title as you will see later on in the tutorial uh, I always leave this open because I want to create a template from which I can every time go and change the title as I need it but I will always type in the author and there you will put your own name and you can add some keywords or whatever like template if you want then we will click on next and we will make sure that uh, the scale type is set to absolute and that our scale is set to one to one. Now, if you click on the drop down, obviously you can have all the different scales one to one, one to two, one to ten, or whatever scale you would like your template to be. But I'm going to start from a one to one scale and I will click on next and I will not change anything else on this page. On the next window, I have the option to now click on. Uh, create a default viewport. That means if I select this, that when I draw on my paper space, that will be resented through in my model space, and the changes that I do will carry over from one to the other. I will click on next, and now I will save my settings. If you have uh, set up another page wizard before, you can restore your settings from whatever you've saved it as. I'm going to do this now for the first time with this setup. So I'm going to say save settings and click on finished. Now we have our setup done and we know that this is a normal metric page setup. In this case, the grid blocks would be, the small little grid blocks will be five millimeters apart. And we will also see that we can now actually just jump right in and start our drawing. However, before I start drawing, I'm going to now go and click on File, Save As, and I am going to go and save this template now under any of my um, directories that I would like. So I'm going to go and where it says drawing onetcw I'm going to change that, but first I want to get, make sure that I save it in the file extension that I would like. Now, I always save mine as a .tcw, that if you click on the drop down right before, below the file name, you'll see, you see it says save as type. If I click on the drop down, it gives you a whole list of op possibilities of what you can file your, save your file extension as. Right at the top, I have the TCW, which is the one that I always use. But if you go and save this as a template itself, it will have the file extension of TCT. 
and then you can always open it just as that as a template from the templates options but i'll just always use a normal drawing if you are using AutoCAD uh, at work or wherever, you can just go and save this drawing as a DWG, which is recognized with most other CAD software, especially the AutoCAD uh, software packages. And uh, another one that you could select is a DXF. Now, if you're working with different versions of CAD software, or if it is across different types of CAD software packages, then DXF is the best option to choose because you can basically open the DXF in any version. Also in other CAD design software like 3D Max or any of the other cool programs that you find out there to do normal design. So DXF is a very good option to choose if you're working across platforms or versions. Good, so I have now saved mine as a TCW, as you can see right at the top. It says .tcw after I've typed in the name. And here we come back to the title which I referenced earlier on in this tutorial. Here you can now give this particular drawing a name. If you just want to call it template, you can call it template. Or if you're now going to use this uh, layout as your isometric or for graphic drawings, then obviously you can type in the name of your isometric or for graphic drawing in the title bar. Um, I have now my author name already in there and then you can add any other keywords or comments that you would like to be more specific about the information regarding this drawing. I will not change any of the other settings at this stage. So I'm going to click on OK and as you see there I've now typed in the name. And now we have our paint set up ready and we can use this now as a template every time and we can uh, go on and change the settings to whatever you like uh, if everything is not set up exactly well you want it yet but in tutorials that are to follow I'm going to teach you how to now create for yourself for our school curriculum the proper layout and how to save that as part of this um, template so that we can every time just carry on drawing every new drawing that we have. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was informative. If you like these tutorials and would like to get notification whenever there's a new one updated, just subscribe and click on like and you will see a no receive a notification to let you know there's a new tutorial loaded onto YouTube. Well, I thank the guys at Brainline and you can please go and visit them and the guys at TurboCat. TurboCat also does training and provides the software. They have extensive training for uh, entry level all the way to advanced level. These guys are great. They're doing a great job. Keep on going. Enjoy the videos. Have a good day.